What is up my rusty dick jackers? You ready for spawn issue number 228? Look at that fucking Superman cover. Pretty dope, huh? Alright, let's go. Mark Rosen starts to record himself talking about all of the evidence that he's found about Jim Downing. The reason he's doing this is just in case someone, you know, fucking mercs his ass or assassinates his ass, then they can come back and see this recording. Then we move on to the Violator talking to Blood about Cogliostro wanting to recruit the new Hellspawn. But Blood isn't worried about this, and he just tells the Violator to go fuck off and use his powers the right way. And then the Violator's like, yeah, fine, maybe if I do it just like you, then I can get my own fucking keychains made. And he's just saying this because of all the Jim Downing merchandise that has been created. Then we move on to the OGs, Sam and Twitch. Yes, Sam is alive and uh, he's being forced to eat healthy food now so he doesn't have another fucking heart attack. And Twitch is investigating the attempts that were made at Sam's life at the hospital and he believes that it is connected to Downing in some way. Then we switch over to Sarah praying to God, telling him that she's losing faith in Jim Downing. Does that mean she's losing faith in God as well? She kind of hopes and wishes that Jim Downing never woke up from that coma because it was perfect when he was in it. She could tell him all of her thoughts, you know, she had someone to confide in, but now it doesn't feel that way. Then, while she's sleeping, the Violator goes up to her and puts one of his keys of power into her. And Susan, being the depressed whore that she is, goes into the bathtub and slits her wrist because Mark Rosen and Jim Downing won't pay any attention to her. And that, my friends, wraps up Spawn issue number 228. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, don't be a pussy. Like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!